is Hillary. That's the focus of tonight's angle. All right, appearing recently on PBS and in response to a question about Trump's urging her to run again, Mrs. Clinton said this. So maybe there does need to be a rematch. I mean, obviously, I can beat him again. Well, host Judy Woodruff noted via Twitter that Clinton claimed she was joking. But remember, we're talking about the Clintons, so the truth is always a bit elusive. Well, what are the chances that Hillary jumps into the 2020 race? It ain't zero, and does she think about it all the time? Absolutely. That's what one of Hillary's closest confidants told The Washington Post. Now, just a few months ago, I dismissed the idea of Hillary 2.0 kind of out of hand. She wouldn't be that arrogant and ungracious toward the current field. No way. But then the weakness of the Democrat slate surprised even me. Nothing's working. The walking, talking, gaffomatic machine known as Joe Biden may have dropped in the polls for a few weeks, but now he's back on top. And what seems to be the grudging recognition that the other top candidates, Warren and Sanders, are just not going to cut it in key battleground states where common sense still means something. Now, Mrs. Clinton may also feel vindicated by the interestingly timed release of an internal State Department report that somehow managed to exonerate her in the matter of email deletion and the handling of classified information. Although Hillary staffers, of course, they were faulted, the review certainly gives Mrs. Clinton cover. Plus, I mean, who doesn't think that Hillary is a stronger candidate than that goofball Biden? To use one of his favorite phrases, come on, man. Like, I know what you're saying, you know, though. Come on, isn't it too late? It's too late for Hillary. It's too late to get into this already crowded field. Well, my answer is, it's really up to the party. If the voters aren't jazzed by any of the likely frontrunners, they'd be stupid not to seriously consider another Clinton bid. She has instant name recognition a massive fundraising apparatus that could be reactivated, and her old campaign team would quickly reconstitute and key players exit other campaigns the moment she stepped back in. And let's face it, she's been to the Trump rodeo before, so she knows the show better than anyone. As another Hillary pal told The Washington Post, her view is, I ran against this guy. I know how to do this. Another reason I think Hillary is inching toward a rerun is her penchant for dipping into the political conversation uninvited. Most recently, it was her gratuitous swipe at Tulsi Gabbard. While Bernie Sanders gently reproached Hillary for the smear, Elizabeth Warren just seemed nervous about the looming Clinton shadow. Senator Secretary Clinton has been back in the news recently. She criticized. Do you have a question about public yeah. education? No, I just want to start there. Do you think she's helping or hurting the Democratic Party? I don't do have see, any comment do on that. Do you see a role for her in the 2020? I race? don't have any comment. Do you see Gulp. <laughs> it's like shaking. Now, of course, the other animating force for Hillary may be the Democrats' view, albeit erroneous, that the Trump campaign is gravely wounded by the growing likelihood of impeachment. Now, I can imagine this, maybe you can as well, these well-paid, overpaid, I should say, political consultants making this pitch. Go something like this. Madam Secretary, even if the economy remains strong, our internal polling, it's showing that voters will abandon Trump and choose you, another political name brand, just to stop the chaos coming out of Washington. And just think, You'll finally, Mrs. Clinton, be able to make history as the first female president of the United States. Don't let the dream die. America is calling you. History is calling you. Save us from Trump. Do it for the grandkids. And as for Mrs. Clinton's recent bravado and trash talking of President Trump? He knows uh, that uh He's an illegitimate president. He's either lying or delusional or both. It was like applying for a job and getting 66 million letters of uh, recommendation and losing to a corrupt human tornado. Oh, big deal. That's just talk. Unless, that is, she wants to back it up with action. Wade back in, Hillary. The water's warm. And the other thread of this narrative that must not be overlooked is that the instant 
and hearty support she would receive immediately from the old and battled deep state and professional and diplomatic corps who are now battling Trump. You don't think this group would rather go back to the good old days of Clinton again and kiss this entire America first era goodbye? So there you have it. A combination of Hillary's pride, her desire for revenge, a weak Democratic field, and a consultancy class that can sell sand in the desert may be pointing us toward another Trump-Clinton face-off. Of course, Hillary's smart enough to know that the only thing worse than losing once to Donald Trump would be losing twice to him. And that, too, is a distinct possibility. Are you suggesting that someone's trying to make a real-life sequel? Who'd want to do that? Sequels suck. Many sequels have surpassed their original. Oh, yeah? Name one. Yeah. Well, not this one, that's for sure. Oh, uh, if you thought 2016 was exciting, you ain't seen nothing yet. And that's the angle.